What's up guys, it's Brandon Jay. Today we're gonna be magnet fishing in a 100 foot deep spot called Hospital Hole out here on this crystal clear river. Now this right here is a super magnet that was custom made for Tristan, one of my best friends. He does not know I have this. He left this in my truck months ago, but in the world of treasure hunting, it is finder's keeper. So T, I'm sorry, you're not getting this back until I find some bangers or get it stuck 100 foot deep in today's hole. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! <laughs> now, I do have my best friend here with me today, Reef. Oh, God, he's trying to attack me. He's trying to attack me. God dang. I only got one wet suit, brother. Please don't rip it. Reef's doing reef things, being a menace to society. Please back up. Back up, brother. What are you doing? But we also have some really exciting news because if you watched my last video, you know that we built the ultimate jet boat for shallow water and pretty much all the adventures for treasure hunting we've deemed it the best treasure hunting boat on youtube fun fact the place that we normally put in at to get into the river was actually closed because they're dredging it you'll find out all of that stuff later they rerouted us on a wild run through a bunch of crazy palm trees through literally a foot and in inches of water which is exactly what this boat was designed for so i really got to put it to the test today i was scared i was very nervous i did not want to break it day one but this boat is made to push the limit, so I'm glad we got to do that. Give you a quick boat breakdown of how we're gonna use this thing today. This trolling motor we might not use, but we do have the Panoptics live scope. So we can actually put that into the 100 foot deep hole and see what's down there. Then on this way, we have this boat completely filled up with gear. We got the big cooler, we've got the scuba equipment, we've got all the camera gear down here. We have so many magnets, these are all Tristan's. Sorry T. And over here we have all the fins, mask, goggles, everything we need. This boat is completely loaded down and basically we're putting it to the ultimate test today. Plus me, Trav the camera guy, and the dog Reef. She's loaded down. So we only have a little bit of a run to get to Hospital Hole, but it's Friday, there's a bunch of people out here, so we're gonna be bobbing and weaving kayakers in current the entire time. So uh, <laughs> this is also a new boat to me, so uh, please everyone watch it. <laughs> this could be bad. So far we've dodged more people than we've hit, so we're doing a phenomenal job, but this water is normally crystal clear but they're dredging and they're dredging downstream. So I'm a little worried because if you look over here, the water is just like super misty and milky. It is not great. So, oh my God, look at the kayakers up front. We're screwed. <laughs> There's kayakers and another boat. This is so stressful. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Howdy, howdy. Slowly put it. There's literally no way I could have took my big boat today. <laughs> we would literally have casualties on board. <laughs> All right, so we just made it to Hospital Hole. Check this out. This right here is the hole. It goes super light. We even got power poles down in the back, but then it's just immense depth right here. Every time I come here, it just it's like kind of unbelievable. So we've got all the magnets and stuff, but we also don't want to be super rude. There's a bunch of people here. So I think we're going to try to tuck in the back corner and uh, then drop some magnets down. It is a lot busier than I originally thought today. Reef is having the time of his life, dude. He's only been out here on a jet ski, so he hasn't got to really run around and play with all the people yet. Manatee attack, brother. Manatee attack. <laughs> that guy's got a giant manatee on him right now. <laughs> How insane is this? You have a random hole that just goes 100 foot deep. You got all these people playing, splashing around in five foot water. And then you got a random guy just getting attacked by a manatee. I mean, they're playing, obviously, but <laughs> Reef's never seen a manatee before, dude. He's gonna jump on the manatee's back and ride it off into the For the sun. last few weeks, I have been using this, which is the Anchor 757 powerhouse the ultimate beast to keep you charged with the most advanced long-lasting batteries the premium lfp batteries will remain in healthy state even after 3,000 complete charge cycles with six times longer battery lifespan than the industry average which is a really good thing because unexpected things happen like your trailer tire popping on the side of the road and you have to use your powerhouse to power the compressor that fills up your brand new tire it even has a five-year guarantee for peace of mind, which will even outlast the warranty of all your other electronic devices. And for someone like me who has last-minute adventures, this thing charges from zero to 80% in just one hour 
with a beautiful little thing called Hyper Flash. This is not your little rinky dink power station. This packs 1500 watts of output power, which will power appliances like portable refrigerators, fans, coffee makers, microwaves, and more. This is a worry free power supply for three to five day trips or emergent outages. There are a few smaller models like the Anchor 521 and 535 Powerhouse with the same long lasting batteries but smaller capacity. So make sure to click the link in the description below or search Anchor Powerhouse to get charged for your next adventure. Anchor, thank you for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get to finding treasure. Good. good boy. You good now? You satisfied? You got to say hey to everybody? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got the Bimini top up now. We're completely locked in. Everybody here is Reef's biggest fan. It's pretty much the only reason I think I have subscribers at this point is because they get to meet Reef. So, oh, look at him now. Yeah, there you go. Sick. Oh yeah, he's getting the, tr the troll motor's getting after it. So we're actually getting quite an interested audience. So the guy just said, I'm gonna go sit over here and see what this guy gets. Um, again, these are all Tristan's magnets. He's got a couple giant ones in here. They're all custom made, so I'm assuming they're very expensive. It's 100 foot deep here, and uh, we did send a submarine down in the past. I had a submarine that could actually go, um, a like remote control submarine that could go that deep, and we saw what was on the bottom. It was pitch black. There's a bunch of weird stuff. So there is a chance that we find some big stuff and get to pull it out. Anybody who's lost stuff here, it's gonna be at the bottom and they're not gonna be able to get it back. What is that thing, huh? What is that thing? Look at it. Oh my gosh, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> we're gonna get on the trolling motor. I'm gonna power pull up and we're just gonna troll around bouncing the magnet off the bottom. line just took off look what it is freaking just giant manatee just bumped our line right there oh my gosh <laughs> Dude, I'm glad I tied up the line it literally just bumped the line it's not like it got wrapped up it's a straight line but What did you say was down here? Uh, there's an Apple Watch. Confirmed Apple Watch. So, if nothing else, at least one Apple Watch. I know there's stuff down there. There literally, statistically has to be. For a lot of sediment. See, look, we're on something right there. And then it pulled free. What is that? This is the depth right here. This is my sonar. I don't really have it turned on because it's no use for this, but so 93, 95, 97 is about the deepest I've seen. So when I told you guys it's 100 foot deep, I was serious. It's 100 foot deep. I think Tristan's rope is exactly 100 foot. And look at this. All these bubbles right here, right on top of us, I think what's happening is we're actually punching through sediment. And all the sediment is holding a little bit of bubbles and, you know, who knows what kind of gases. And it's just releasing them. We're breathing that in, Travis. So whatever that was that was trapped forever ago. Suck it on in, brother. Big game interview. Me and the kid are freaking exhausted. It's hot. It's very, very hot. And we're really not finding that much treasure. Reef. Hey. Hey. Look. And uh, yeah, I don't really have like a second game plan because if I didn't find anything in Hospital Hole, I was like, oh, I brought all my scuba gear. I'll just dive in the river and find stuff like I normally do. You licking off my, uh, oh, that's probably sunscreen. It's probably not healthy, kid. Maybe we shouldn't do that, <laughs> licking off my sunscreen. No, 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 stop it, stop it, please. I'll give you a treat. Hey, you want a treat? Not me, I'm not the treat. My girl does think I'm a snack though. She does say that. <laughs> Anyway, I don't really have a good backup plan only because they're dredging because it's completely blown out. The dredging is, is making the water super, super cloudy. It's just been a, it's been a rough day. There's my kayak shack friend. Got in at Bayport. Hey, man. It was good. Thank you so much for that. Dude, it's perfect. Perfect. Hilt. 
He will too. Really? He'll jump right over, yeah. He has no loyalty to me. I, I think I'm gonna come by. We're at Bayport. We might swing by and get uh, lunch there. Can I bring him? Is that okay? Yeah, you can bring him. Okay, perfect. All right. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, that was me. Yeah. I knew I recognized that boat you guys. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. We we did a magnet this time. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, have, he'll have to see what we found when uh, we did the magnet, because we didn't find anything. <laughs> Not sure if my skin is falling off or I just put so much sunscreen that it is now turned into a gelatinous goo on my skin. But we just got back to the dock. Jiggy Jet, no treasure on it so far, but this video is turning into a uh, more of a boat testing video. And she freaking ripped, man. We were running through the shallows. You guys saw the drone footage, so freaking sick. And that's like what we designed this thing for. Didn't think we were gonna do that today. I uh, thought it was gonna be the ultimate test for it, but we ended up having to do that because they shut down Rogers Park, which is actually where we're about to load up and go to. Um, there were some nice ladies that fell in love with Reef and they actually are waiters there. So they said we could bring him, get some food. So Travis and I have been in the sun all day, as my shoulders can prove to you. No treasure, but that spot is a hot spot. So we're gonna boat, we're gonna trailer the boat drive three minutes down the road, get us a nice little meal, and we might just throw the magnet one more time at the restaurant. I found stuff there before, but we'll see. I don't know, man. It's been a long one. All right, Reef, we made it to the outdoor restaurant here, but we're looking in the water and we see a little bit of stuff. So I think we're gonna eat our food. Look, Reef's still looking, dude. <laughs> I think we're gonna eat our food, get some much needed fuel in our bodies. And then I think we're just gonna tinker around with a magnet right here. So there's still hope. This would be the first time we do a treasure video with zero treasure. So we gotta find something. Hey. What's his name? His name's Reef. Reef. Hi, Reef. Yeah. Buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, it's dry now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Buffalo shrimp, stuffed mushrooms. Finally. I refuse to go home empty-handed. So, we're gonna stay on this river, Travis, until we find some freaking treasure, okay? Also, um, forgot to mention this. John, you sneaky man, you. Uh, he owns the kayak shack. He's helped me out multiple times in the past. He even gave me batteries for my metal detector before when they ran out. And uh, he actually sneakily paid for our meal while we were getting some food. So, John, thank you so much. And uh, if you guys ever want to go out on the Wiki Wachi, it's a really beautiful river. Today it was dredging, but just uh, get his phone number or the website and uh, tell him Brandon J sent you. Thanks, John, so much. I appreciate it. Such a nice guy. All right, good, good juju is happening. Now let's bring it with the magnet down this way. Oh God, there's something shiny over here too. I just, oh, we do have something. You ready for a magnet reveal? <laughs> After all day, you know, technically, these could be considered potential murder weapons. Look, man, I say we just ended on this note. It was a rough day, okay? I think this is it, Reef. Oh, God, please don't eat that. That is disgusting. We've got some knives, some screws, and the world's largest bolt. Look, guys, I freaking tried, okay? We took the boat, a place I've never taken it before. We overcame adversity because our place was closed. We managed to find our way on the GPS to the spot I want to treasure hunt. We got to Hospital Hole. We actually had enough rope to get to the bottom. I didn't even check that before I left. 
We tried everything. I mean, we had the ultimate setup for success. And after all the obstacles, when we finally got to Hospital Hall, I was like, you know what, this is it. This is a W. We're absolutely gonna find some crazy stuff in. It just didn't connect. And that's the way treasure hunting is sometimes. But we had a good day. It's got a beautiful suntan that's probably gonna peel off me in about three days. And now we've got a couple knives and a large bolt. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. At least we got to take the jig and jet out. I hope you guys like that boat and see why it's so game changer for us on the channel. Reef and I are out. We'll catch you guys on the next adventure where hopefully we find a little bit more treasure. Peace out.